What's up everybody? Moving on to another word problem. This one is a little bit tricky, trickier than the ones we did before. So a soccer ball is kicked and is in the air for eight seconds. Two seconds before the ball hits the ground, it clears, it just clears a tree that is 39 meters high. Find the max height the ball reaches. So with a question like this, first thing you want to do is draw a diagram. So we got the time over here. And then we have the height here. So a soccer ball is kicked. Let's say it's kicked from the origin. And it travels like that. And it's in the air for eight seconds. So we know this here is eight. So it's starting at zero seconds and then uh, hitting the ground at eight seconds. Now we're told two seconds before the ball hits the ground. So two seconds before it hits the ground, where is that? That's over here. So at six seconds, at the six second mark when it's in the air, two seconds before it hits the ground, it just clears a tree that is 39 meters high. So here, the height of that point, so there's like a tree here, right? So that tree is 39 meters high. So the coordinate of this point or the top of the tree is six and 39, like that. And the question is asking for the max height. So basically, question is asking for this max height right there. So how can we do that? Well, we first would have to find an equation with the information that we are given. So notice that we're given the two intercepts of this quadratic. So it's probably best to find this quadratic in factored form. So x minus r, x minus s, r and s are the uh, intercepts. So this specific question, we're given intercepts of zero seconds and eight seconds. And then uh, we're not really working with y, we're working with height, so I'm gonna put an h here. This is a, and then we're gonna have t minus zero, right? So instead of x, I put t for time, and then t minus eight. Zero and eight, those are the two intercepts. Now t minus zero is just t, a times t, that's like a t. This is t minus eight. So we gotta solve for this a value here. How can we do that? Well, we gotta pick a coordinate other than the intercepts, and we're given a coordinate, six and 39. So we could plug in 39 for h, and then six for um, t. And this would give us what? This would be a negative two times six is negative 12. So divide both sides by negative 12. So a is 39, negative 39 over 12. So now with this a value, we have the equation. So up here, we would have h equals negative 39 over 12, t, t minus 8. This equation here models this soccer ball being kicked. So really the trick was getting this coordinate here. Two seconds before it hits the ground, reaches a height of 39. It just clears a 39 meter high tree. Okay, so we have the equation, and now how can we find this max height? Well, if the intercepts are zero and eight, at what time is it gonna reach this max height here? It's gonna reach it at four seconds, the halfway point between the intercepts. So we could just plug in four for t and get that max height. We have negative 39 over 12 times four, times four minus eight, which is negative four. So um, how can we do this? We'd have uh, negative 39 over 12, negative four times negative four is negative 16. And then if you multiply all this out, negative 39 over 12 times negative 16, you would end up getting 52. And that is the answer. So the max height there is 52. So the coordinate of the vertex is four and 52 reaches a max height of 52 meters. 
right? So that is one way to do it. Another way you can actually do this is you can um, pretend like the tree is happening on the y-axis. So let's say that the tree is there. Well, then your diagram is gonna look something like this. Okay, and this coordinate here would be zero and 39. Two seconds before the ball hits the ground, so we know this intercept's gonna be two. And we know that the ball is in the air in total uh, eight seconds. So two minus eight would give us negative six here. So from negative six to two, that's a distance of eight, which, um, which is a total of eight seconds that the ball is in the air. And then to find this max height here, what is the midpoint between uh, negative six and two? So negative six plus two gives us negative four, negative four divided by two gives us negative two. So you can use these two intercepts, negative six and two. So we would have, um, actually let me use H. H is A T plus six, T minus two. Right, positive two, negative six for the intercepts. Then you'd solve for this a value with this coordinate zero and 39. You'd get some kind of different a value than this one. But then to get the max height, you would have to plug in negative two, that midpoint between negative six and positive two. And then you would get 52 doing it this way. You can try it even if you want. But uh, either way is gonna be the same answer. But uh, my opinion, it's just easiest to kick the ball from the origin and then keep everything positive and you don't have to worry about these negatives here. It's kind of weird plugging in a negative time, right? So you have to sort of look at this in a more abstract way versus this here makes a little bit more sense. But whichever way you do it, 52 meters, that is your answer.